guys the phenomenal AJ Styles and you're watching Bretto Live. What is going on guys? Bretto Live back with another video and welcome to the WWE Extreme Rules 2022 prediction video. In this video we're going to be running down the match card, talking about every single match, every single stipulation that Triple H has added to this insane premium live event that's going to be going down this Saturday. Thought I'd get our prediction video up a little early here so you guys have time to view it. Today I am with Dad Live to give his predictions as well. We're going to be popping the figures up here. You guys know the deal. So without to do, let's jump in. But before we do, Dad, he was able to get this hat out of storage, and he has something to tell you about it. I got, got this you-can't-see-me hat at WrestleMania 25. Show it off. Back in 2009. Dad was there. You don't see me. Come oh, yeah. on. Dad was Who there. Who wishes they were there with me? 25th All of anniversary you, of Mania. But that's too Got that hat bad. That was my event to be at. Very cool. Yes, it so, was yes, cool. Yes, it was. Without further ado, let's get into the Extreme Rules predictions. Just keep it one clip. Mm -hmm. Don't stop the video. Jumping into the first match, it is for the SmackDown Women's Championship. It is the current champion, Liv Morgan, going one on one with Ronda Rousey in an Extreme Rules match. Will Liv Morgan be able to go to the lengths? that it takes to retain her title in an Extreme Rules match? I don't think so. But what does Dad think? In this what match? does Dad think? Well, this is what Dad thinks. I think that Liv Morgan is going to get um, Ronda, Rousey Ronda Rousey into position to the count, to the three count, and there's going to be an interruption. You think somebody's going to come out and mess I up? I think someone's going to come out, and you know who I think it's going to be? Shayna Baszler. Mm. And I think She's that gonna Ronda is going to take the title. Oh, I like that, but I'd yes. reverse it. I think oh. if Shayna were to come out, I think she'd make Ronda lose to lead to a Ronda oh, okay. Shayna rising. Okay, but it okay, could okay, go okay. the way where hey. she helps her as well. True, 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 true. The My prediction. There's yeah. going to be a distraction. Yeah, possibly. I could see him bouncing off to a different rivalry because this is technically his uh, second match between them. Uh, SmackDown is championship. High stakes in this match. Will Liv Morgan be able to go to the uh, lengths to get extreme? I don't know. I, well, we'll see. It's going to be good. Um, I got Liv Morgan retaining the SmackDown as champion. Mm, that would be her beating Ronda Rousey twice. Ooh. But I don't want to see Ronda Rousey as SmackDown as champion again. I, I do. Her, I find her really boring as champion. I don't. Uh, I want to see Liv Morgan retain here and wreck Ronda Rousey. I'd love it. But I do like Dad's prediction with Shayna Baszler coming out, starting a new rivalry. I could see that happening. Jumping into our next match, it is Matt Riddle going one-on-one -on -one with Seth freaking Rollins in a... Fight Pit Match. This is the first Fight Pit Match on the main roster. We've seen a handful of them in NXT, and Riddle has been a part of some of them. So we're seeing it on the main roster. Seth Rollins, Riddle. This is going to be a fight. Special guest referee, I forgot to mention, Daniel Comier from UFC. I don't really think he's going to pose a factor at all, but he's the special guest referee. Uh, and Dad, what do you think about this? Let's see. That, oh, that's kind Riddle of tough. Rollins. I'm really having a hard time because Riddle is beat up, or I'm sorry, Rollins is beat up on Riddle mm -hmm. several times. Curb stomp and all this and that. Uh, but you know what? I am going to go, I'm just throwing it out there. I'll go, because I think everybody thinks Riddle's going to win, I'm going to go with Rollins. You're going Rollins? I'm going oh. Rollins on it just because the obvious one Wait, is Riddle. That's no the way. only reason. Other than that, I have nothing. This match is pretty easy for me. I am saying Matt Riddle. This is like the third match that these two are having. And Rollins, I feel, has gotten the best of Riddle so many times. Uh, I got Riddle winning this. It's his fight bid match. This is basically his type of match. And they already announced Seth Rollins versus Bobby Lashley for the United States title, the Raw after Extreme Rules. So that's just going to jump into a whole new thing. And I think Riddle is going to be completely out of the equation. Uh, and I think Riddle's going to win. It's going to be good. I am excited for it. Jumping into the next match is for the Raw Women's Championship. It is Bianca Belair, the current champion, going up against the challenger, Bailey. Bailey thinking she can dethrone Bianca Belair. The only reason she hasn't lost the title, quote unquote, from Bailey, is because she hasn't been around to take it away. Will Bailey win the title in a ladder match? I love all the stipulations on this show. I'm really excited for it. Uh, the title's going to be high, suspended above the ring, just like the title's going to be high, suspended above the ring tomorrow in my match against Brody. Stay tuned for that. And, Dad, what is your prediction for this? Oh, uh, my prediction is boring. Ah, Sorry. I know. I'm not really complaining. Sorry, guys. Not, not excited about it. Uh, not has nothing to do with nothing. But Bianca Belair to retain. I'm just, that's just, 
too obvious, too long. That's my prediction. I could see Eos Sky and Dakota Kai getting involved, as well as Alexa Bliss and Asuka. It's a ladder match, no disqualification, guaranteed. But in the end, Bianca Belair will overcome the odds and pick up the victory, guaranteed. She is not losing the title to Bailey. No. It's for the Rams Championship. She is going to hold that title for some time until WrestleMania. Know. Yeah, probably until WrestleMania. Yeah. But uh, we'll see. But uh, I do have Bianca winning this one. Jumping into the next match, it is Edge going one on one with Finn Balor in it. I quit match. You have to beat your opponent down enough, scare him enough for him to say and iterate the words, I quit. What does Dad think? This is going to be good. You got to remember, Judgment Day couldn't get involved. Styles could get involved. Rey Mysterio can get involved. There's a lot of people involved with this rivalry with the Judgment Day. What do you think? I am going to go with Edge. I think the <laughs> Judgment Day, just too much chaos, too much carnage, too many problems. Uh, I think it's time for the faces to start coming back a little bit here. I am going with Edge to win. Um, Edge to win. Maybe some kind of disruption from someone mm. to come in and help Edge. Not exactly sure. Maybe Rey Mysterio? there was kind of a lot. Eh. Maybe. Maybe Ray will probably be involved somehow, uh, but I'm not quite sure who, but somebody's going to come on. It might be Ray Mysterio and somebody else as well. Oh, man. Okay. So, uh, you know, but we'll see what happens. But I'm going uh, Edge to take this. I'm really looking forward to this. I could see it being a really physical match. Obviously, Edge likes to make his matches really physical and really just energetic and great. Uh, and putting the simulation of an I Quit match on this just makes it amazing, 10 times better. I'm really excited for this. I could see Judgment Day getting involved. Dominic's going to come out. I think Ray's going to come out. <coughs> Whether they fight into the crowd, up by the entrance stage, backstage. It's I Quit. They could say I Quit anywhere. It doesn't have to be in the ring. But in the end, I do see Edge winning this match. How he's going to win it, I don't know, but I feel like the Judgment Day has gotten the best of Edge and Ray, and Judgment Day has just been dominating these Monday Night Raws lately. So I think Edge is going to teach him a lesson here. Jumping into our next match, it is a strap match. Once again, Trips continuing the stipulations in an Extreme Rules pay-per-view. Vince back then, he'd have, oh, Extreme Rules. One Extreme, room, uh, one extreme Rules match. Cell, one Cell match. It's like, why? Why have the pay-per-view name then? Extreme Rules, we're getting so many extreme matches. Drew, Karrion Cross, Strat Match, Dad. I am thinking this one is going to be a brutal, chaotic, heavy hitting, big time oh, match. Yeah. Two big awesome. dudes just going awesome. at it, killing each really other. This. I have a, a lot of slap chops against, chops. The, uh, against the, uh, the chest there, a lot of red. Uh, I think a lot of scratching, just brawling. But nice. I think in the end, in the end, it's going to be. My man Drew. Drew, he is I, going I like to Drew. take it. Drew's Drew is cool. awesome. He's a friggin' beast. I'm going Drew McIntyre to take this. A lot of respect for Drew McIntyre. That is playing a factor in my prediction a little bit that Drew McIntyre can possibly win. But Karrion Cross, you got to remember, just debuted. He he just debuted and a re debuted, I should say, because he debuted back when Vince the Vince era. Uh, but he's he's back, and this is his first rivalry of Drew here. And I don't think he could lose. I think Karrion Cross has to win and. If Drew were to lose, I don't think it would make Drew look bad. I, I feel like Karrion Cross needs to win, and it won't make Drew look bad, but it'll make Karrion Cross look amazing. Scarlett, I do see becoming a factor in this match as well, the wife of Karrion Cross, but we'll see. But in the end, I got Karrion Cross winning the match. Jumping into the next match, it is the Brawling Brutes <laughs> going up against the Imperium. Sheamus, Butch, Ridge Holland versus Gunther. Giovanni Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser is a six-man tag team match. It is... It's a Donnybrook match, so technically, I would just rephrase that as an Extreme Rules match. Um, but yeah, are they going to be tagging people in, or is it going to be a tornado tag? I love tornado tag, so hopefully it's a, a tornado tag. Dad, what do you think? Who's going to win? Imperium? Brawling Brutes? I'm going to Imperium on this. I like my I like my Gunter and Ludwig. They're just like. Has anybody ever noticed? And Giovanni Vinci. The time that Gunter doesn't he remind you of like some guy that would be in uh, like a war movie? No, like a. Uh, oh my God! Yeah, like that. Yeah, like an evil movie or something. <laughs> like an evil movie, right? He is the ranger. Anyway, I'm going with Gunter. If anybody is not sure who Gunter is, he used to be Walter. Yes. So. This is a Walter figure. It's a Walter figure, but we don't have a Gunter figure. But we don't have a Gunter figure yet. So this is Wait, a not the Gunter, Walter but this is the Walter. It looks much like him. Maybe his twin yes. brother, just it, like Elias. It could be. But anyway, and, I am going Gunter Ludwig. Let's go. I like those really? two. Really? Yeah, why not? Okay. Um, 
Oh man, okay, um, Gunther and the Imperium. I know I've said it for like almost all my predictions, but they've been getting the best of the Brawling Brutes over the past couple weeks. They've been wrecking them. Yeah, Gunther man. beat Sheamus, yeah. and we're filming this before SmackDown, by the way, so we don't know the buildup for Drew and Karrion or these, um, so that might play a factor in predictions. But anyways, I got Brawling Brutes. Uh, I like the Brawling ah. Brutes. They're cool. They're, 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 they're just... They're, they just kick butt, dude. You know what I'm saying? They're just cool. I have a question. Um, you think there's any shillelaghs involved in guaranteed. this? Guaranteed. Uh, okay. Donnybrook match, I think that has something okay. to do with like a pub. So okay. maybe some shillelaghs. Gotcha. Uh, maybe they might have like a weird setup where like Seamus is like great, great grandfather's there on the thing again. Remember that? Yes. Um, but anyways, it's going to be a fun match. And I got um, Brawling Birds. All right, guys. That has been our Extreme Rules 2020 True <sighs> Prediction video with me in my 2009 John Cena hat. From yes. WrestleMania 25. You got Lord, I hope you guys enjoy, enjoyed the video. Tell your friends, tell your yes. grandparents, tell your uncles, your dogs, your cats. Subscribe to Brett Live already and watch the videos. Darn it, let's go. What do you have to say at the end of all this? This has been a really fun Extreme Rules prediction video. I am looking forward to the show. No Trouble Chief, but you guys already know the vibes. This is going to be some great match. But again, No Trouble Chief, you know. Ah, oh, the Tribal Chief. They're dude. running out of no opponents tribal for Chief. Tribal Chief. There's only one left that can beat him. It's the Rock. It's WrestleMania. The Everybody Chief. knows this. Yeah. Let's just no go. No Tribal already. Chief. He's going to be at the Crown Jewel. Yeah. But uh, no Tribal Chief here. But got to deal with it. Got to deal with no Tribal Chief. Oh, but man. it has been the Extreme Most Predictions. Feel free. Drop your predictions on the comments down below. Smash a like on this video. Subscribe below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bird Alive and Dead Alive. Out.